What's up everybody, I am Kubrick and welcome back to my The False Emperor building series. Yes guys, we are finally back to this great build after a few weeks of a break and man I have some awesome stuff to show to you. As you know, the last video I made on this channel was the showcase of my February build, but this week I am so excited to get back to building Star Wars. We are now at episode 4 of this series and the build is already looking great. Today we are going to talk about the almost finished second section with the stairs and the front part of the platform, which was a really difficult one to make. Also I've ordered a lot of parts to finish that so I can close this section for the next episode and get to making the final part of the build. As for that third section, I've also started making the base for it so we have now the final size of the whole mock established. So yeah, there will be a lot to talk about in today's episode, but if it's your first time here and you have no idea what I'm building, then I encourage you to check out the previous episodes of this series so you can catch up on what the idea for the False Emperor is all about. And of course, if you would leave a like under this video and subscribe if you are new, that would really help me a lot. But now without any further ado, let's get to see how the full build is looking at the moment and then we'll talk about each section individually. And here it is guys, all the three sections connected together. Of course a lot of work is still ahead mostly on the third section, but as for now you can at least see the final size of the mock. And man it is huge, I mean it can barely fit on my table, I guess I will have to find another spot for making the photos of the finished build. Surely it's going to be the biggest mock I made, so far. It's a good thing I made it in separate segments from the start because otherwise it would be a nightmare to put together. The outer dimensions are about 90 by 60 centimeters and about 25 centimeters high. But that one is about to change because as you probably remember from the first episode, the platform will be holding the throne and two massive seat statues so I'm guessing it will easily double the height. I really like how the sections connected together as for the first time they are standing on the correct stands and I gotta say they are holding everything together very firmly. I mean just look at the smooth connection between the walkway and the stairs. Even from the sides it's looking as a one huge chunk of bricks. But now let's disassemble these parts and talk about them individually. I won't show you the walkway separately because that part you've seen a couple of times already, but let's take a quick look on the stair section with the bridge connected. And isn't that just gorgeous? Now imagine the battle between Jedi and Sith taking place on these stairs. This is going to be hot as hell. But anyway, let's get back to talking about the actual progress before I get distracted too much, so let's get rid of the bridge. And here is how the stair section is looking on its own. So from the front not much has changed, well maybe besides finishing the side walls and adding a couple of stairs with the bricks I got in the last hole and firmly connecting the bottom part with the rest, but the best thing is happening on the top where I started making the floor. I gotta tell you, by far this was the hardest thing to put together. I tried many different configurations to figure out the hexagonal pattern for the floor, but what I came up with is just perfect. Of course the floor will be fully made with black pieces, but these are the parts that I didn't have yet. I had to order 400 of two types of 1x2 clips and over 1400 of black cheese slopes, but I think in the end it will be worth it. The biggest challenge in here was to make the supports for the floor segments, but with the help of my friend Lech, I figured out a very sturdy way to make it. I will link his Flickr account in the description of this video because he is truly a master in making very intricate connections, which many of us wouldn't even had an idea to come up with, so make sure you check him out. Anyway, the floor will be sitting on this kind of contraption made with mostly headlight bricks, brackets, clips and 1x2 plates and on top of them there will be lines of flex tubes that will be holding the individual floor hexagons. Now you're probably thinking where did I get such long flex tubes 
And here I have to confess something. These aren't official LEGO parts because I had to figure out a cheaper solution for that, but I found these Bowden tubes that I use for 3D printers and they are almost a perfect replacement parts here. Okay, they are a bit thinner than the original LEGO flex tubes, 0.1mm to be exact, but for this build they will do. And they were about 50 euro cents for 1 meter, so that's a win-win. Around the platform I started to make the railings, which by the way are something you can rarely see in Star Wars, that I made using 1x1 one one bricks with clips and regular 4L bars, all placed on jumpers. That way I got a very similar design that you can see in the game, and I just can't wait to see them stretch all around the fully completed platform. As for the backside, nothing really changed here. I'm still trying to figure out a better way to light up the stairs from below, but for that, there will be time in the final part of the build. I also finished the side walls as I said, and added the bottom part with a similar pattern that the bridge has, but of course made at an angle along the wall, and I added 6 of these side pylons. I'm still missing a couple inverted light bluish grey slopes here, so I replaced them at the moment with dark bluish grey, but you get the idea. The design is actually quite simple as the bottom part is connected with only one by one brick from the top, but it holds really good here and gives that feel that it's moved a bit from the wall itself. And as I almost finished the stair section, while waiting for the parts to fully complete it, I started to build a base for the platform section. And here my daughter's old Duplo bricks came in very handy. I guess I wouldn't be able to make it at all if it wasn't for those, or I would have to order a ton of filler pieces. And this way I only have to make sidewalls with dark bluish grey bricks, and the same pattern in the upper part of the wall as before, and cover the top with plates to make a foundation for more of those hexagon shaped floor tiles. The bottom part of course will be made with black minifig stands at the same angle as before, which I already left placeholders for, but the whole thing already has most of the desired shape so you get the picture. And after that there will be still one small thing to add. Ok, maybe not small but less brick consuming that is the throne itself and two seat statues on the sides. I have a basic idea of how I want to make those, but I bet that will change again a dozen times while building. These elements I think will be about 20 cm high and the lit with some LED lights so I am very excited to start building those. I also think I have a great idea on how to make the throne itself to be as close to the source material as possible but for that you will have to wait a bit more. As for this episode I think I covered everything I've added to the build and now I am waiting to see what you guys think about it. Let me know in the comment section below how do you like the build so far, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and of course spread the word so more LEGO fans could see what I'm building. I will see you all in the next episode and until then you know what to do, stay safe and keep it bricking.